Welcome to Sounds of Brass. Sounds of Brass is proudly sponsored by Stratos Brass. Say goodbye to mouthpiece pressure and hello to an optimized embouchure with a revolutionary one-size-fits-all Stratos performer. Compatible with all brass instruments, it's your key to clearer, stronger playing, giving you more stamina than you ever thought possible. Get yours now for just £79.99 at stratosbrass.com. Exceed your expectations every time with the Stratos Performer. Welcome back to another installment of Everything Brass from myself, Peter, here on the Sounds of Brass Radio. Hope you've had a fantastic week so far and looking forward to the weekend as it is almost upon us yet again. I tell you what, these weeks do fly by these days. See that, I'm getting older. On this week's show, I'm going to be featuring some fantastic soloists and some beautiful solos within the brass band world. So as always, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Before we crack on with our first soloist or soloists of the show, I thought I'd open the show with an absolutely classic march that was originally written and composed by William Walton and Ron Goodwin. It's a favourite within the Royal Air Force of the UK, or the British Armed Forces, and that was the Battle of Britain. What an absolutely fantastic march. Just to kick off, What I'm hoping is going to be an absolutely fantastic show this week. I'm going to kick off our soloists for today's show with a piece that was written and composed by Leroy Anderson. Our soloists are Cornet Trio, Luke Dempsey, Oliver Sikora and Jack Reeves. They're playing along with the second Rosendale Scout Band and they're going to give us Leroy Anderson's Bugler's Holiday. Thank you. 
Under the direction of their musical director, Graham Helm, that was the second Rosendale Scout Band, giving us a little bit of a Bugler's Holiday here on the Sounds of Brass. What an absolutely fantastic group of cornet players. I really do enjoy listening to that one. I really, really do. I'm going to take you to a piece of music now that is a popular melody for the Great Highland Bagpipes. Now, the melody was actually composed by German, German musicians Ulrich Roever and Michael Korb in 1982. And it was actually written for the Highland Games held in Germany. The piece was then rearranged for brass band by... Howard Lorriman is being played today by the Syracuse University Brass Ensemble. Here is an absolutely beautiful Scottish piece. Here is Highland Cathedral and the soloist is being played on Euphonium by Mark Anderson. <laughs>
going to take a trip over to the Black Dyke Band now under the direction of Dr. Nicholas Child, where they're going to give us an absolutely fantastic solo that was originally written and composed by George Doherty. It's being played on Euphonium again, so it's your second Euphonium solo, by Euphonium soloist Daniel Thomas. Here is George Doherty's My Grandfather's Clock. <laughs> Thank you. 
What an absolutely splendid rendition and solo that was. Being played on Solo Euphonium, of course, by Daniel Thomas, along with the Black Dyke Band under the direction of the musical director, Dr. Nicholas Child. That was George Doherty's Grandfather's Clock here on Sounds of Brass. Absolutely fantastic. Remember, if you want to get in touch with uh, Sounds of Brass, one of us presenters, you may have a function coming up, you may want to shout out or say happy birthday to someone as simple as that, then why not drop one of us presenters a line? And it's simple to do. All you have to do is send an email to presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. That's presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Remembering in your email to put in which presenter you wish to contact and your email will be duly passed on to whichever presenter you have requested. We're going to take you to a brass band now from Wales, which is going to be fun now because I've got to try and pronounce the brass band's name. It is, they're better known as the BTM Brass Band of Wales, but their actual title is the Bedworth Tresomus and Machine Brass Band of Wales. And I'm hoping, I really do hope I've said that correctly. But anyway, they're going to give us an absolutely beautiful flugel solo coming your way now. It's being played on the flugel horn by the soloist Andrew King. The band is under the direction of their musical director, Jeff Hutchinson. Here is Andrew King on the flugelhorn giving us song and dance.
Peace, a song and dance, uh, was written and composed by Philip Spark, who wrote this single movement piece, actually for a recording by the then Gus Band back in 1984. It was actually first performed by the band's principal cornet, Brian Grant. Now, the song commences with a Scottish snap rhythm leading to a, a lyrical cadenza and ending with a return of the opening theme, which is actually muted. Absolutely fantastic piece. And being played by the BTM Brass Band of Wales. Hello, my name's Chris Johnson, and I am the producer and one of the presenters on Sounds of Brass. Yes, the online radio station for brass bands across the world. My show is on Saturdays at 7.30pm. I've been involved in brass bands for many, many years and uh, I thought it was about time that brass bands had their own place in the world across the internet. So, hope you're enjoying the station and I hope you enjoy my shows. Every Saturday I'm on half past seven in the evening, UK time. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the station with today's show being soloist and solos i thought only right that we give the trombones a chance to shine now and move over to the trombone section it's a trio of trombones in fact being played by eleanor newton charlotte horsefield and steve lomas they're playing along with the brighouse and rastric band under the direction of their musical director david king the piece was written and composed by Roger Basotti. Here is the trombone trio and the Briggs and Rastrick band that giving us a little bit of trombones on Broadway. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, yes, indeed. What an absolutely cracking piece that was, of course. That was the uh, trombone section with the Brigas and Rastrick band uh, giving us a little bit of Roger Bassetti's trombones on Broadway here on Sounds of Brass. Remembering, if you've got a function coming up and you or you just want to mention, then why not drop one of us presenters a line here at Sounds of Brass Radio? And you can do that by sending us an email to presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. That's presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Remembering in your email to put in the presenter you wish to contact. And believe me when I say, we'd absolutely love to hear from you. <laughs> If you enjoy our 24-7 online brass band radio station, please show your support. If you can, by making a donation, simply visit our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk, and click on the donate button. Thank you. I've got an absolutely beautiful cornet solo coming your way now. It's being played by the Carlton Main Fricklery Colliery Band, the soloist, soloist is Kirsty Abbott. It's a solo that was actually written for Kirsty Abbott. It was originally written by Ben Holdings. Now, I've got to admit, I didn't actually know I had this piece of music and I was flicking through my virtual, my digital brass band collection. I'm hoping you're actually going to like this. It's an absolutely beautiful, I mean a beautiful solo. Here is Kirsty Abbott giving us first light.
What an absolutely tranquil piece of music that was. Being played by Kirsty Abbott, along with the Carlton Main Frickly Colliery Band. Uh, that was a piece of music that was written and composed by Ben Holdings, and that was First Light, here on Sounds of Brass. We're going to stay with the Cornet solos for our next piece as well. The only difference is it's a male and it's a different band. Our soloist for our next piece is a gentleman or a young gentleman in that fact called Gareth Jones, who is from Durham in the northeast of England. He's given us a solo along with his band, the Corey Band, under the direction, of course, of the musical director, uh, Mr. Philip Harper. It's one of my favourites from the early pop days, and it's a piece that was originally performed by Scylla Black. The song itself is dear to my heart because it reminds me of my young grandson, who's of the same name as the title of this piece of music. Here is Gareth Jones, along with the Corey Brass Band, giving us Scylla Black's Alfie. Yes, indeed. What an absolutely gorgeous piece that was. And that was a little bit of Scylla Black's 
Alfie here on Sounds of Brass. I'm going to take you a little bit of a classical music now, and it, more important, it involves the tenor horn section. The band is the Yorkshire Imperial Brass Band, and they're going to give us a little bit of Mozart. A more Pacific, it's from his The Fourth Horn Concerto. The PC is from the 1972, so that's how all this piece is, or this recording is, uh, album, and it featured on a album called Best of Brass. Now, unfortunately, I don't know who the soloist is. I've looked online, and I can't seem to locate the name of the, so- the horn player down anywhere. But we're going to play it anyway, because it's an absolutely fantastic piece. It's one that I did my exams to in the army. Here is the... Yorkshire Imperial Metals uh, Brass Band giving us Mozart's Fourth Horn Concerto Ronda. <laughs> Attention all UK brass bands and brass players, Sounds of Brass is supported by New Moon Insurance Services Limited, a specialized insurance broker for all types of musical instruments, specifically brass instruments and brass bands. We are part of the banding community and are an insurance partner of Brass Band England and support various competitions and regional events up and down the UK. Since 2009, New Moon Insurance have supported brass bands by returning some of your premium to your band each year, which totals over 100 
£100,000. Whether you are a championship band or a local non-competing band, New Moon Insurance have cover that's right for you. At competitive prices, if you are based in the UK, Isle of Man or the Channel Islands, for either your band insurance or specialist cover for your own instruments, why not give New Moon Insurance a call? On 01892-280323 or visit newmooninsurance.com. We're going to stay with the Teneron section for our next solo as well. It's from a piece that first came out for a children's TV series back in 1978. Eight. So I'm really digging out the old ones and the old solos today. My motto is, you can't beat the old ones. Well, I don't think you can anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong by all means. It's being played by the Black Dyke Mills Band when they were being conducted by their musical director back in 1978, Michael Antrobus. It's a piece that was made famous by the famous writer, Dennis King. Here is the Black Dyke Mills Band that given us from their 1978 recording the theme tune for Galloping Home, the theme tune to Black Beauty. Yes, indeed, that definitely brings back some fond and happy memories uh, for myself as a child. From Dennis King's Black Beauty, that was the Black Dyke Mills back in 1978 recording, giving us the theme tune, Galloping Home, here on Sounds of Brass. And for those who are interested into nostalgic history, the TV series Black Beauty first aired on the UK television back in 1971 i was only one years old when that came out we're going to take a trip over to the desford colliery band now under the direction of their musical director ian porthouse and they're going to give us an absolutely beautiful piece being played on solo euphonium by jim fieldhouse it's a piece that uh, was originally written and composed by uh, saint sienne's and it is the it's the thirteenth and penultimate movement from the Carnival of Animals by Sainz, which was originally scored for solo cello accompanied by two pianos. It has also been arra- arranged and transcribed for obviously many other instruments, but remains best known as the cello solo. But as I said today, it's being played on solo euphonium by Jim Fieldhouse. Here is an absolutely gorgeous piece. Here is Saint Sien's The Swan.
Oh, yes, indeed. Being played on Solar Euphonium by Jim Fielders, along with the Desford Colliery Band. And that was a little bit of Carmel St. Sien's The Swan here on Sounds of Brass. Just a quick reminder, if you want to get in touch with us, you may have a function coming up, or you may just want to shout out and a mention, then why not drop us, one of us, us presenters a line, and it's simple to do. You can easily do that by sending us an email to presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. That's presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Remembering in your email to put in the presenter or sure you wish to contact it could be as simple as that and also a reminder that if you want to catch up with any shows that's already been on this week this month last month or even earlier than that then why not jump over to youtube and in the search bar just type in sounds of brass where you can pick all shows that have been on from past straight up to the present and you can listen to them back again and again at your heart's content. looking at time i cannot believe that we are almost to the end of our first half of today's show so i'm going to stay with the desford colliery band for our final piece in the first hour but remember to stick around because we've got some more fantastic solos coming up in the second half of the show uh, we're going to finish the first half of today's show with a piece that was from a tv series that was created by uh, Lucy Gannon and was broadcast on Central Television back in 1991. It was made famous by the famous duo singers uh, Robson and Jerome. Here is now the Desford Colliery Band. They're going to close the first half of today's show with an absolutely fantastic television piece. Here is Soldier, Soldier. <laughs>
You are listening to Sounds of Brass, the online radio station for brass bands. Sounds of Brass is sponsored by Stratos Brass. Cushion the blow with Stratos Encore Pro and achieve new heights in your playing. Visit stratosbrass.com. Now back to the show.
and welcome back to the second half of today's Everything Brass here on Sounds of Brass Radio. Opening the second half today was a piece of music that was originally written and composed by the legendary, and I repeat, legendary John Miles. It was a piece that was being played by the Sellers Engineering Band, and it was from one of the 1997 albums. On Soprano was being played by Peter Roberts. What an absolutely fantastic piece to open the second half with, and that was John Miles's music. We're going to be hearing another couple of pieces coming up very, very shortly. Also being played from the Sellers International Staff Band, and it's also from the same album. We're going to do two pieces that, well, they're my favourites, I'll say that, and I'm hoping they're going to be your favourites as well. I'm going to take you to a band now that up until 2022 it was better known as the Reg Vardy Band under the direction of Red Far. And since 2022 they then was renamed and they're better known now today as the Ever Ready Brass Band. And they're going to give us a piece of music now that was originally released by Westlife. It's also been done by numerous other artists. Here is the Ever Ready Band Giving us, you raise me up.
of Brass has launched our own branded merchandise. We have some great promotional items available such as baseball caps, polo shirts, backpacks, mugs, and our own jacket. If you enjoy our Brass Band online radio station, please purchase something to help promote Sounds of Brass. Profits from all sales go towards helping us with our ongoing running costs. We ship to most countries across the world. Please check them out on our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk. Thank you. Enjoy our great brass band online radio station. Well, I think it's time to let our percussion sections now shine, especially the xylophone section. It's a piece of music that was written by Rodney Newton. It's an arrangement that's been done for Brass Band. It's back playing with the Sellers Engineering Band. So here is our fantastic percussion section, especially the xylophonist, with Rodney Newton's variations for percussion. Thank you. 
from a Frenchie. My name is Eric Brice. I am a French horn teacher and principal French horn player in the symphonic orchestra. 
but I also played tenor horn and I conduct a brass band in northern France in the lovely city of Amiens. I am really happy to be part of the Sounds of Brass presenters team. I want to interest and surprise you during my show and bring you the Sounds Brass Ensembles, a bit of brass quintet and above all magnificent international music for brass band. You can listen to my show twice a month on Thursday 6 p.m. UK time. Thank you for listening and enjoy my show. Yes, indeed. What another absolutely cracking piece of music that was. Another one of my all-time favourites, actually. Being played by the Black Dyke Band under the direction of the musical director, Dr. Nicholas Charles. A little bit of Johann Sebastian Bach and Takata and Few in D minor. I first heard that song being played, or that piece of music, sorry, not a song, that piece of music being played by a brass band from a cassette tape I had from when I was, oh, when I was a... I must have been only about 13 years old. And it was being played by the Black Dyke Band then. Unfortunately, I can't find that original recording, which I'd love to, because it's a lot more. The percussion section really shines in it. But at the end of the day, I've got what I've got, and it's still another absolutely fantastic piece. And just letting you know that if you want to get in touch with Sounds of Brass and get in touch with one of us presenters, you may have a function coming up, you may just want to shout out or something mentioning, then why not drop us a line? And you can do that by sending an email at presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. That's presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Remembering in your email to put in which presenter you wish to contact, we would absolutely love to hear from you and also if you go onto our website there is a guest book on there as well and we'd love you to fill that out as well if you get the time you're already on the website listening to our fantastic show so why not put a little jot down on what you thought was enjoyable and your enjoyable moments uh, from whatever shows have been on again we would absolutely love to hear from you here at the station 
We're going to take a quick break from our soloists this afternoon because I want to give a little bit of a fun piece. One that should get you laughing your head off, and it's a brilliant piece as well. It's being played by the Whitburn uh, Brass Band under the direction of Andrew Duncan. It's from one of their albums called Reflections of Freedom. As I said, it's a little bit of a, a fun piece, but it's still a cracking piece of music. Here is the Whitburn Band giving us some cartoon classics.
Oh, yes, indeed. There you go. The Whitburn Band, they're giving us a little bit of cartoon classics here on the Sounds of Brass. What an absolutely great piece. Like I said, it's a bit of a fun piece. That's all I'll say. Absolutely brilliant. It really, really is. I'm going to take you to a band now that I first... I did actually do a show on them a few months ago. It's a brass band from Wales called the Tredgar Brass Band under the direction of Ian Porthouse. They're going to give us an absolutely beautiful piece now, which is a cornet solo being played by principal cornetist Dewey Griffiths. It's a piece that was written and composed by Philip Spark for Brass Band. Here is the Tredgar Brass Band and our soloist Dewey Griffiths giving us Flowerdale.
Let's ball cornet player Dewey Griffiths there, along with the uh, Treadgar Brass Band under the direction of the musical director Ian Portos, giving us uh, Philip Sparks's uh, Flowerdale here on Sounds of Brass. Well, looking at the time, I cannot believe where today's gone. We are very quickly approaching the end of yet another show. So glad you've stuck around and been here with me in the studio today. Remembering you can always catch up with all shows that are being on by going over to YouTube and typing in the search bar Sounds of Brass where you can pick all shows that have been on and you can listen to them back at your heart's content. Attention all UK brass bands and brass players. Sounds of Brass is supported by New Moon Insurance Services Limited, a specialised insurance broker for all types of musical instruments, specifically brass instruments and brass bands. We are part of the banding community and are an insurance partner of Brass Band England and support various competitions and regional events up and down the UK. Since 2009, New Moon Insurance have supported brass bands by returning some of your premium to your band each year which totals over £100,000 whether you are a championship band or a local non-competing band New Moon Insurance have cover that's right for you at competitive prices if you are based in the UK Isle of Man or the Channel Islands for either your band insurance or specialist cover for your own instruments why not give New Moon Insurance a call on 01892-280-323 or visit newmooninsurance.com We're going to take a trip over to the Oberagua Brass Band now under the direction of the musical director Herb Gralette for a little bit of a, a double whammy of solos both being played by the Oberagua Brass Band. The first one is a solo that was made famous by John Lennon and Sir Paul McCartney, of course, at the Beatles. It's being played by solo hornist Janine Corpex. Here is Yesterday.
Janine Kopex there on Solo Horn, giving us that absolutely beautiful solo of John Lennon and Paul McCartney, and that was Yesterday. We're going to go to our second soloist of the band now, and it's a euphonium solo being played by Jessica Toma. It's a piece that was originally written and composed by the singer-songwriter Barry Manilow. It's another absolutely fantastic euphonium solo. Here is Jessica Toma giving us Barry Manilow's one voice. already said unfortunately we have come to the end of yet a another two hour show i'm going to play you out with another couple of beautiful pieces being played by the leyland brass band the first one is an arrangement by cosmo vladimir and alan fernie it's being played on principal cornet by lewis barton and the piece is one love and then i'm going to play you out the end of the show with another absolutely beautiful piece time to say goodbye which was sang by celine dion and andrea Bichelli. so for myself peter and everyone here in the studio at sounds of brass radio i'd like to wish you all a very a very good afternoon and i hope you have the rest a pleasant day and enjoy the rest of your week as well 